my name is Sherry Hunt from Living Well Cancer Resource Center. Today we're working with botanicals and a hammer that you have at home. We're actually pressing flowers from your garden, leaves, anything that you might find on a nature walk. Right now I was trying to um, press some pansies onto a pillowcase. Just take a white pillowcase and what you're going to do is I'm laying it on a book that I've just opened. I want to make sure that I have a book underneath so I'm not ruining any of the surfaces. In between the pillowcase, you'll put a piece of cardboard or a piece of paper so the color doesn't go through to the other side. You'll take a piece of newsprint, newspaper, any kind of paper, parchment paper. You'll lay it down flat. You're gonna take your hammer, make sure that your hands, your fingers are away from where you're hitting. You can kind of see your, your raised bump, that's your flower. Just make sure your two fingers are away. You're gonna gently go around. And once you start hitting, you'll start to see the colors coming through. You wanna make sure that you get all of it in the center, just gently tapping. You don't need to go very hard, just gently tapping. You don't wanna break up the petal too much. You could even use a rubber mallet. You might with that have to hit a little bit hard depending on if it is a leaf. Okay, I'm going to take this up to a little unveiling here and I will lift the flower and it doesn't even look like I lifted the flower. The pansy still remains. So earlier I did try a piece of fern. I just laid that down. The same thing with the piece of Paper and I hammered away. So you can kind of see some different uh, plants that I did, a little rust and sage, and you can just keep layering all the way through. It's an amazing, amazing, you could do it on a linen uh, dishcloth, um, anything that you might have around that is white, but the linen dishcloth would be great too. And a nice gift, you could just um, wrap it up like this and do a little bit of uh, twine with it or hemp and give it to someone who has a gift. What a great, um, present for someone. I'm going to just show you here um, on a piece of paper too. You can use um, books. I have a garden book here that I can rip out pages and use. I can use a journal page. Um, we did some botanical printing with this. I can just use my journal and the same thing. I'm going to fill up my page. I love these pansies. I'm a little pansy happy right now. So the same thing. I did a little botanical printing. I let that dry. I'm then going to go right into my journal and get that pansy over. I love complementary colors, so the purple and the yellow are going to really look awesome together. Again, just lift that up. Oh my gosh. So exciting. If you want to, you could do it on a gift tag. You can get a little ribbon with it. You could make a bookmark for someone. One, two, three, uh, pansies. I know there's a lot of the little libraries in town as you're walking. You could maybe put a couple of these in the um, little book libraries that are around when people are walking. You can leave those as a little uh, art abandonment project and what a nice surprise. You can write a little nice note of gratitude on the back. Here's one that's just punched out as a heart. Can go onto a plant that you can um, give to someone for a nice gift. So have fun, you can use herbs, herbs work great. Um, anything that has a lot of moisture to it. I did try the uh, tulips, way too much moisture and the color didn't go through. So a lot of dark colors work great. If you have a hydrangea at home, uh, get one that has a little bit of color that works out great. With the hydrangea, you will take um, some of the flowers off just like this and you'll just kind of put them on your paper like that. I do have a couple little pink flowers to kind of give you the idea of what it will look like when you break up the hydrangea. So this is just the same idea. This isn't a hydrangea. Oh, and there's a little bug. We're just going to get you off. I don't want to hurt you, but there you go. All right, I'm going to just lay this down. Oh, and there's the pink. There's the second one. Oh, I can even see the center. This is what the hydrangea is gonna do, but you wanna make sure it's the blue or the pinks, um, purples, just to give a little color. The white will not show up on the white paper. So here you go, I'm gonna lift this up. Here you go. And if I want stems, like I said, I can just take 
a little bit of this, lay it on there wherever I want. If I want my stem to go off the page, I can, or if I wanna have a leaf there, and just kind of layer and collage your um, botanicals as you like. Beautiful. Have a great day and a nice walk outside, and uh, do this as a family. It's a great project. Take care, bye-bye.